<laughs> I meant to take that off. Hey guys, sorry about that. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. <sighs> Getting myself together, y'all. I think the lawn guy is here. I don't know if y'all hear that buzzing, but uh I don't know if that's my yard or if it's the neighbor's yard. Let me go check real quick. Oh my goodness, y'all. Sorry. And we're back. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. In case you didn't know, this is not a proper cooking show, clearly. Um, let me introduce myself and we're going to go ahead and get started. For anybody new here, hi. I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to another struggle cooking class. My lawn guy was outside and, you know, he's a retiree and he takes his time and I was just trying to... <laughs> Talk to him and come on here. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. What are we making today? I saw a recipe, a Brussels sprouts recipe, y'all, that um, I want to try. It looks good. I'm actually fasting today, so I'm not cooking for me. I'm going out of town for the um, holiday weekend, and uh, I wanted to make a nice meal before I go, and I wanted to try out this recipe. I do love Brussels sprouts. It's probably an acquired taste that I have acquired as I've gotten older, but uh, to me, they're like little baby cabbages and with some good seasoning, some good oil, some good heat, uh, we can make them. So we're going to take attendance. Um, I am not a professional chef. I am not a professional YouTuber. I am just a mom and a home cooker trying to share my love of food with y'all on my health and wellness journey. All right, so we are kicking off the Memorial Day weekend. If you are in the U.S., I think the official start of summer, so it's about to be hot. And uh, what are we going to do? Lots of salad, lots of fruits, all that good stuff, right? All right, so sit back and relax. Let me cook for you. It's the highlight of my day. I truly enjoy it. And um, we're going to make a plate. We're going to make man food tonight. So I have the extra chicken from yesterday, the bacon wrap stuffed chicken. So we're going to put that in. I'm going to cook some seasoned rice. Y'all know I can't have those carbs, but I'm going to make some rice. And then we're going to get started on these Brussels sprouts. All right. So whatever brings you here, you are most welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. So let's see what we got over here. Let's start with, oh my goodness, hello everyone. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> hello, Davis. Thank you for being here. Mary, Ima, Affinity, Perry, Pounder, um, A. Kinsey, uh, Mari. Hello, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who do we have on TikTok? 
<laughs> PB and J, Saludame. Hello, Tavo. Thank you all for the hearts. Hello, Tammy. Hello, CCG. Hello, user. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. It's a little far away and hard for me to see. So anybody on Instagram and TikTok, if you want to come see the side by side, I'm on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. You can find Maggie, the substitute teacher. All right. Now, let's see who we have over here. <laughs> Let me start at the top. We got Mona in the, in the class, Mona the moderator. Thank you so much for being here, my dear. Mona says, like the video on the way in. I appreciate you all. Don't ask for much. I do have a big ask coming your way next month. Uh, we'll talk about that. Oh, my goodness, with the guy uh, cutting the grass. You guys are going to hear my... I probably need to turn off my um, backyard sensor. Let me know if it gets annoying. Um, but yes, uh, good stuff coming. You all can check my socials. I think I've posted it everywhere. Uh, some big stuff coming in June. And it's actually going to launch when I uh, am in Greece. So I am going to need everybody's help. I have entered a competition for your favorite chef. No, I am not a proper chef. I have never been to culinary school. Do I think I can win this competition? Not really, but I do enjoy cooking and I do enjoy learning. And uh, it'll give me the opportunity to work with professionals and learn from them. Uh, so I'm really excited about it. The voting hasn't started yet. But when it does, I'll definitely be asking you all to cast your vote if you want Maggie to win. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. We got Linda with the love notes in the house. Hello, Linda. Thank you for being here. Tasha Arnett saying hello. Thank you for my purple heart, my dear. We have Eileen Davis. My first time seeing you here. Eileen says hello from Baltimore, Maryland. Hello. I literally have Brussels sprouts cooking in the oven. Well, you know what? You are ahead of me. My grocery order just arrived, so I have some fresh uh, Brussels sprouts. Hello, Daisy. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Y'all believe in me more than I believe in myself, really. But it's good exposure, if I'm being honest. It's a good experience, and I'll be able to learn and get better. So we're going to do it together. If y'all are new here, I do stream every day, and I'll let you know what's going on. So y'all are going to know because I'm going to know. Let's see. Let me turn this um, Instagram. It looks tilted. All right. So let's finish taking attendance here. Casualties here say, ooh, Brussels sprouts. Yes, let's give them a try. We have Geneva saying hello. Hello, my dear. Casually says, I like your dress. I'm glad you like this dress. I'm not really a fan. So I'm going to show y'all. Have y'all ever bought anything on um, <laughs> social media? And you know, you get the... Uh, the order, and it may be from a far away, like Asian country where the people are a lot smaller. And uh, I guess it's a little bit of a win. I bought this dress and I have this little shawl on because it's uh, sleeveless, because I don't show, <laughs> like showing my arms, but it was like a little pocket dress, like a little pocket mini dress, right? You can see. So it's just a little dress and um, it's a little bold. <laughs> But the material, it doesn't stretch. So honestly, when I got it a while ago, I couldn't fit. And I haven't really been talking about my weight loss journey because I've kind of stalled, but I did get 80 pounds off. We got <laughs> more to go, but I'm gonna get it done before this cruise. But actually I put it on because I could have dug on it. And it's a short dress. So I put like these little leggings underneath and I just have sneakers on. So the dress is just supposed to be like a little dress, but it's a little bold. The material, it's, you know, it's gonna go to the uh, giveaway, but it's like one of those things, it was an accomplishment to get in it. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. We got B. Marie in the house. Hello, B. Marie, thank you for being here. Valet is here. Hello, Maggie, hello. Thank you so much for being here. You had Brussels sprouts last night. Are they in season, y'all? I don't know. Oh, hello, Charles. Mecky and her. mecky has been cooking on her page. Mecky says, hello. Sprouts are your favorite. Y'all. Well, all right. I'm going to show y'all this video that I saw. If y'all are new here, I follow everybody who's a cooker, whether you're a professional or a home cook like me. And if I see a recipe that I like, we try it together. That's what I do. Have I ever made this before? I have not. Has that ever stopped me? It has not. Now, um, I have made Brussels sprouts before, but not these candy 
Brussels sprout, so we'll try it. Eileen says, my first time on your channel. Welcome, my dear, whatever brings you here. You are most welcome. I like to say we are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. So everybody say hello, Eileen. Is there a song, Eileen? No, it's um, Loleen, Loleen. Is that it? Loleen, Loleen. Y'all, am I making it up? Don't take my man because you can. Y'all know I make up songs and it's, there's an Eileen, come on Eileen, da 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 Eileen, Eileen. I don't know the words, but I make it up. Yes, it just has pockets. <laughs> so yeah, it has pockets, but this is my problem area. And so this like, it's not, it's not flattering for me, but I wore it because I could. <laughs> Rodney says, Maggie, let's cruise away from here. Oh my gosh. Rodney, are you coming on the cruise? I hope y'all come cruise with me. So for anyone who doesn't know, we are having a Maggie meetup in November. Okay. So let me find the picture for you all. Maggie meetup. Where are you? I know you're here. There you are. So we actually have a cruise consultant that is part of our community. We have a website, link is in the description. Anybody is welcome. Adults, kiddos, by yourself, whatever you wanna do. I'm looking like, am I ashy y'all? Um, Royal Caribbean, it's first come, first booked. I am booked. I have already made reservations for dinner at a different restaurant every night. You can do as much as you want with me or as little as you want with me. We are cruising November 27th through December 1st. So if you wanna get away from the cold, if you're in North America, you can come. We're sailing out of Orlando, uh, Port Canaveral. And uh, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. No, 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 no. I'm about to lose control and I think I like, okay, sorry. I burst out in the song. Today's a good day, I'm feeling good, y'all. Um, but yes, you pay $200 to reserve your spot. Then you just pay the balance by September, however you want to break it up. And uh, I would love to see you all there. I am going to celebrate my birthday on the cruise. So I will be bringing gifts for you all. And uh, yes, please come meet me on the high seas. We got Sabrina in the house. Hello, Sabrina. Sabrina likes the dress. Who wants it? If anybody wants it, it's yours. Inbox me a shipping address. It's like a little mini dress. I don't think it looks that great on me. You can see it's like sleeveless and I got leggings on with it. But if you want it, it's yours. I will wash it and put a little gift in there. You can have it. Linda says, I love your Kandinsky soldier. Y'all like this? It looks like that. What is that thing? Kaleidoscope. I'm old that we used to play with. Y'all like this dress? Somebody. Come on, Ali. Yes. Da 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 da. Uh uh. Ali. That's what I got. Oh, Jolene. I said lonely. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Okay, that was bad, but it's never good. Don't take my man because you can. Jolene, Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, please don't take my man because you can. Okay. I can already hear it. Focus, Maggie. We have to collaborate. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Is that Eritrea or Ethiopia? Let me know where you're from, Mickey. Absolutely, yeah. West Africa, East Africa. You love a dress with pockets. Thank you, Gina. Eileen says it's going to be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all can come. $200 holds the room. You got all summer to figure it out. And then um, September it's due. And then we cruise in November. Oh, Kevin Brooks is laughing at me. <laughs> Do not encourage me. I will say this about the cruise. If you all come on this cruise with me, I will shut down the dance floor. And you probably be like, dang, Maggie, we didn't know. I'm telling you now. Okay. Ethiopia. Yay. Shout out to East Africa. Okay. Who else do we have here? Kenneth says, love your energy. We need more people like you. Thank you, kind sir. My first time seeing you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everyone. So we're gonna make man food tonight. We are making chicken, rice, and Brussels sprouts, all right? Um, 
So one of the things I start doing when I'm making a plate, I start thinking of the order of the food because when I learned how to cook from mom, retired home science teacher, I struggled with getting everything ready at the same time. This would be done and then it would be cold and whatnot. So one of the first things I do, I think about what can hold the longest, right? So we're gonna do rice in the rice cooker because I'm a believer in feed and send. So I always make a plate and I send it to go. If you don't wanna do that, eh? I like cooking for people who work, all right? That's what I say. Rodney says you love Maggie. <laughs> the substitute jukebox. Oh, Kevin Brooks already coming through with $20. Heavy hands, he says, a little something on the comedic cooking. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Brooks is the stream sponsor. The stream sponsor is the person who gives the biggest cash app, Super Chat, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, gold blooms, whatever. I'm just glad y'all are here. I'm not asking for nothing until next month. I'm going to ask you to press a button for me when this competition opens. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I posted about an hour ago. I was notified so you all can see all about it. Uh, but thank you. In all seriousness, thank you. Kevin is part of the mastermind. He has a YouTube channel. He is actually the funny one. I don't think I'm funny. I think I'm silly. And there's a difference. <laughs> I think funny is intentional. Silly is just goofy. Hello, Kia. Thank you, sweetheart. But let me get Kevin up on the board, our struggle stream whiteboard for the class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. $20. Notorious. All right, before I spell it wrong and y'all get on me, I O U S. All right, notorious. There's more to it. Y'all, if I could play music, we would be jamming in here. Notorious. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you for the generous offering. $20. I didn't find $20 doing your laundry today, so I appreciate it. All right, class, let's get this counter cleaned off. We're gonna start with our rice, rice, baby. Let's cook, let's cook. We're making rice, rice, baby. Let's cook, sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. Uh, Jolene, I know y'all. I hear songs, I think I know them. I reenact them and then it just doesn't come out the way you expected to hear it. So if you're new here, I have musical outbursts, okay? <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you, Kevin. Y'all, please check out the Notorious Kevin Brooks. Notorious. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm so late. I have no idea why my children are embarrassed. <laughs> Y'all love the outbursts. Look, I've told you, this is what happens here. You, if you're new, welcome. I may not say uh, welcome back if you decide not to come back, but my, uh, whether you're one of my day ones or my new ones, y'all know what it is? All right, let's let this air dry and clean our hands. But yeah, in all seriousness, y'all, I'm really excited. And I don't think that the, um... oh, that smells good. What soap did I get? Ooh, pineapple dragon fruit. Um, <laughs> I don't think the competition is over yet. So if we come to a stopping point, you all want me to show you what I'm talking about? Absolutely will. But there's a competition called Favorite Chef, or maybe it's Your Favorite Chef. Can we see that, Kevin? Oh man, it's bright outside, it's beautiful. $20, thank you, Kevin. Um, it's almost like a scholarship. Um, so the grand prize, the winner gets $25,000. Am I gonna win? Mm -mm. Thank you all for believing in me, but I'm not a real chef. But I applied because I would love to learn with a real chef and get better. And they have like classes and they have equipment and different things so I can perfect my, my craft. But in all seriousness, you know, it is good exposure and I'll be asking you all to cast your vote for Maggie as your favorite. All right, so um, let's see. I'll show you all the link that I posted and um, 
Then we're gonna get started. I'll show you the Brussels sprouts and then we'll get started on the rice. So in case anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, I posted this today. So this is the competition. And y'all know my name is Margaret. Maggie is my childhood nickname. So here we go. Um, so it's Carla Hall and this is Favorite Chef. So you all can see here, you'll be featured in a magazine. So you can go to this page and the, um, oh, where is it? Sorry. The voting begins June 12th. So I'm gonna need you all to come back here. But if anybody's interested, you can actually, I guess, still register. Um, so very, very excited about that. So I had to write like um, almost like an essay, what inspired me what I like to cook. And then I had to post samples of my meals. Y'all have seen all of this stuff here. So very exciting, very, very exciting. Okay, what are we doing? Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna show y'all the recipe. And I always like to give um, credit to the recipe create creator. And this came in my feed, it's an Instagram recipe and I've linked it and tagged it. Let me give you up here, Kevin. I've linked it and tagged it. And this is from a vegan brother and he is a chef and his channel is Plant Crazy. So you all can see here, this is Lloyd and Plant Crazy with two eyes is his channel, okay? So y'all know I follow all of these cooking pages so I get inspiration from everywhere. Let me turn that down so y'all can see. And what got me on this recipe, if you notice, it looks like candy because he has them on a lollipop stick. And I was like, yes, are those candied food? This is the one that I saw. Y'all saw the thumbnail right here. All right. So let's take a look. I'll play it twice. Wait a second. Why do we have two things going on? Hold up. I got a lot going on. Hold on. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, plant crazy. Y'all see my feed. It's all food stuff. Plant crazy. I had two videos playing. So if you scroll down, and I'll show you guys over here in just a second. All right. So this one right, oh, <laughs> this one right here with the lollipops. Do I have cayenne? Let me go check. I You would think I would check before I say I'm gonna cook that. Y'all, all right. So over here, here you guys go. This is what we're making. All right, so we're gonna get started on the rice um, because the rice can go ahead and do its thing in the slow cooker and um, it'll just kind of do its thing and sit off to the side, all right? Hello, Femininity TV. Thank you so much for being here, my dear. All right, so if you guys are team Brussels sprouts, you can put the cabbage emoji in the chat. I will leave this here so you all can see as you file in. Let's turn the sound down. That's what we're making. All right, so rice. Let's start with the rice cooker. All right, so I just have this little Walmart rice cooker. It's like a maybe $10, $12, I don't know. I like a rice cooker. Tell me you're African without telling me you're African. African dishes, Asian dishes, Caribbean dishes. There's usually some type of rice. I'm trying to do low carb, so I'm not gonna be eating this rice, but if you're cooking for men, uh, cooking for boys, give them the starches, they're gonna burn right through it. All right, so the way my mom taught me, and y'all can do it any way that you want to, we're gonna put a two to one ratio rice and liquid. And I say rice and liquid because you can cook your rice in any liquid that you like. I am going to use water because I'm doing a seasoned rice today. I think this came from Sam's Club or Walmart. Y'all have probably seen this, the saffron rice, par excellence, yellow rice. So it's already got some seasoning in it. If you want to take it up a notch, you can cook your rice with chicken broth instead of water. You can also, if you want to do like a, 
uh, Caribbean flair or Latin flair, which I love, you can cook your rice in coconut milk. Put some cilantro in there, some beans. Oh, so good. But the two to one, or is it one to two? One cup of rice for every two cups of liquid. Okay, so one rice, uh, two water, uh, one rice, two um, chicken broth, so on and so forth. All right, so let's get a measuring cup. So we have our measuring cup. So this is a one cup measure. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna use this for the rice and for our chicken broth, I mean, for our water. Uh, you cooked, uh, you're learning how to do different dishes. Oh, wonderful. Y'all, I'm learning too. I don't know everything. That's why I entered this competition. We're gonna learn together. So if you're new to cooking rice, I highly recommend a rice cooker. Of course you can do it on the stove, but it's literally one button. And the one button is on, which is cook and then warm. So it does its like auto magic stuff. How does it work? I don't know. But basically you put your rice, your liquid in here. It even has a steamer basket if you wanna do veggies. I'm not doing all that. And then I'm just gonna set it over to the side so it can be like percolating and doing its thing while we're working on uh, these Brussels sprouts, okay? So it comes with this little nonstick bowl or whatever. This goes in the dishwasher, this you just wipe. All right, so I would highly recommend, this would be a great gift, dorm room, uh, newlyweds, um, kids moving out. We've got a lot of uh, military, uh, travel nurses, uh, people who, uh, truckers who don't have access to a kitchen. So I like to think about you all when I'm coming up with recipes that you can actually use, okay? Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. All right, so let's plug this up. I'm just gonna set it up here and then I'm gonna move it out of the way y'all don't need to see well i guess i could do this all right we'll put it here can y'all see i know everybody's like we can't see all right so let's do one cup of rice 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 baby let's cook let's cook we're making rice can y'all see that okay so we got a cup and i'm just gonna pour it over the um rice cooker or pour it over the sink i'm the mom telling you don't make a mess don't just make a mess on the counter you know that way if you over spill it goes into the pot just like that all right so try to level it and then you can see this rice has already got some seasoning in it it's got that saffron i don't know if they're dried vegetables i don't know i'm not eating it but it's a beautiful color on the plate and people like it all right, so an easy side dish. One of the things that I do, or I would recommend if you all are learning how to cook, focus on one thing. So for example, we're gonna be focusing on these Brussels sprouts because I've never made this version before. So I'm making an easy starch, which is the rice. <laughs> What's your weakness, the rice? Um, and the chicken that we have is from yesterday. If y'all missed it, I'll show it to you. Um, we made two chicken breasts. I only cooked one. So I wouldn't put pressure on your, yourself, especially if you're cooking for others. Focus on one thing until you can get it all down together. All right. So we got the rice and then let's get two cups of water. All right. All right. Just regular tap water. And then one more. I know people have different recipes and look, I am not the food police. Please do it how you were taught. <laughs> um, this is what mom taught me and it seems to work well. Some people do um, less liquid. I probably should have, what would have been smart is if I'd have brought this to the sink. How about that? Um, the more liquid, the softer it's going to be. So if you want to do like a rice porridge, my mom used to do that when we were little, white rice but double up on the liquid. So four cups of water and then like sugar or whatever sweetener, maybe a cinnamon stick. If you wanna make a really easy like porridge, if you don't have oatmeal or anything like that. Oh, Black just joined the memberships. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, we do have a community, Maggie members, um, <laughs> let it drip, Maggie memberships on YouTube. I have a $5 level, $10 level. 
I think there's a 20 and a 50. I don't know. Y'all can let me know. Um, but you get behind the scenes. You get early access. You get the cookbook and the course for free. Thank you for the support. You don't even have to be here, but I appreciate that. I also have Instagram subscriptions and I have a Patreon. If you're interested in my etiquette journey, clearly I have some work to do. Um, you can join my Patreon as well. There's a $1 and a $5 level. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. So now that's it. So just the rice and the water. If you are doing white rice, sometimes, sometimes my mom will put a little bit of butter in there or you could put salt in there, whatever you want. Uh, but since this rice already has these things, I'm just going to turn it on and you can watch it percolate. <laughs> All right. So rice is done almost. Um, let me move this back. Y'all be all right. Okay. I want to make sure everybody can see our um, Brussels sprouts. Okay. Joyful homemaker. Hello, my dear. You love Brussels sprouts? I got you, my dear. Welcome. My first time seeing you here. We're going to be making these Brussels sprouts. And she says, and I love Maggie. Aw, thank you so kindly. I appreciate that. I didn't think anybody would care. This is just what I wanted to do. And y'all keep coming back. So I'm happy that you're here. All right. Chicken. Let me show you what we got. All right. If you missed yesterday's stream, we did a broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breast wrapped in bacon. OMG, it was so good. Y'all, after I ended that stream, I tore it up. I made two of them. I cooked one and I'm fasting today. So I'm going to give the other one away. Uh, so yes. So I just have my air fryer tray. I'm going to cook this in the air fryer and I'm going to line this with foil so it doesn't drip. You can get the foil on the roll or I got this little pop-up sheet at the dollar tree used to be a dollar now it's a dollar 25 eh. joyful is hungry this is torture yeah i know right exactly neek says what dish is this we are making um brussels sprouts in a minute but i just got started with the rice so that is the plan candied uh brussels sprouts okay so that's what we're really going to focus on once i get everything else going and i started with the rice because this will cook on its own and do its thing so you can do aluminum foil or parchment paper. Parchment paper has been treated with silicone and so that's great so it doesn't stick. Thanks for liking the live stream. I see the likes and the hearts. I appreciate y'all. All right. I'll move that. So what is it? Chipotle? No, it is. Who did I, whose name did I write on here yesterday? Oh my God. I don't know if he's watching from the clouds, but yesterday Condemned was on and I put his name on here. So it looks like a big burrito, but I can't eat it raw. This is chicken breast. So let me open it up and show you all what we did. I folded it like a burrito. And this is raw. So this is going to need to cook while we work on the Brussels sprouts, okay? Since it's raw chicken again, let me just wash my hands before and after. I don't mind to touch it, but I just want to be really, really careful. All right. So you all can see we got a little piece of bacon. We're going to slap that on there. But I'll hold it up so you all can see. So what we did yesterday, if you missed it, we had a chicken breast. You can see here, we got our, our little chicken breast. Oh my God, it smells so good. Then I got a knife and I kind of cut, like I butterflied it. So I gently cut down the middle just so I could kind of open it like pages of a book. Okay, so not to cut it in half, but just to kind of butterfly it and open the breast flaps open. And then we made this paste, y'all, and it's kind of hard to see, but it's a broccoli uh, we chopped up some broccoli. It could be cream cheese if you eat cream cheese. <laughs> really? Um, you could do cream cheese. Since I'm dairy-free, I did goat's cheese. And then we put garlic powder, Greek seasoning um, on there. I think that was it, y'all. And mashed it into a paste. And then 
excuse me, we stuffed it inside that chicken breast, okay? So it's stuffed inside, and then we wrap the whole thing in like two or three strips of bacon. This is beef bacon, but if you eat pork, you can do this with pork bacon, all right? So this is what we have, and this um, was made yesterday, so I'm gonna take the whole thing. Y'all can see this, oh my gosh, it's gonna be lovely. It looks like a little meatloaf, doesn't it? So I'm gonna put that down here. I'm gonna cover up this little spot with this little piece of bacon. The bacon gives you flavor. The bacon also gives you that like saltiness and a little bit of fat to keep that chicken breast um, moist because you know chicken breast can get kind of dry. All right, so that's what's in here. Let me clean my hands and that's gonna go in the air fryer. So that's what I had yesterday, and you can see one is enough. So this is what's going in. It's gonna go in at 360. I'm just gonna do the chicken button. I think it said like 20 minutes, but you turn it halfway, but we'll temperature check it. All right, y'all? It's gonna get all brown and crispy and everything. Joyful says, do I prefer fresh or frozen broccoli? It depends. This was fresh broccoli because I am traveling for the holiday and I wanted to get my fresh produce out, so I used fresh. That's really what I was going to do with these Brussels sprouts, but the ones in the fridge are starting to look kind of sad and I didn't want y'all talking about me. <laughs> so I bought some new ones. All right, let's go in. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that chicken. Since we had raw chicken out, let's just do one little wipe down and then now we're ready to start on our uh, Brussels sprouts. All right, everyone. Oh, but Joyful Homemaker, for me, um, in a dish like this, where we're going to cook it, I do like raw because it gives me that crunchiness. Um, steamed is fine if I'm going to like top it, like I'm thinking like a baked potato bar. What else would steamed broccoli be good for? You know, a good side dish in a pinch. Um, you could do either one. It's totally fine. But this was fresh and it cooked really, really nicely stuffed in that chicken breast. All right. Everybody's doing good. Is this an African dish? No, sweetheart. This is, um, I don't know where he got these Brussels sprouts from. So let's go over the recipe. He says it's restaurant style. So Plant Crazy is the original recipe creator. And I'm going to show you all the actual, uh oh, I'm going to show you all his recipe and what he says to do, and we're gonna follow it exactly. Hopefully we can. <laughs> Y'all will know if we get it right or we don't. Okay, so here are the instructions. It says, restaurant style Brussels sprouts in six easy steps, okay? So the first step is to place a baking tray into the oven and preheat to 425. You already know I'm gonna say I'm not doing that but actually I do need to do that. I am going to do this recipe in the air fryer, which means I really should have got that chicken in there, but it's okay. So, <laughs> since I'm just cooking for one, cause I'm not eating, I am going to use the air fryer tray. Depending on the portion of Brussels sprouts that you want to use, get the tray that you could lay them down in, okay? This probably, should go on something this size if I'm going into the oven and then I have even the bigger one a sheet pan tray the reason why is to get that nice char and that caramelization you want to put your vegetables on a hot pan all right so that, that's why he says go ahead and put the pan in the oven to heat up so I think I will do that uh -oh, I'm gonna fall. just so that it's hot nothing on it no foil no nothing just looking at his um video i'm gonna put this in the bottom okay underneath well yeah i got foil there we'll put it at the bottom so if you're doing this recipe in the oven then you would want to go ahead and put that in the oven <laughs> joyful oh hello my dear okay step one step two let's do it together rinse oh here it is Rinse your Brussels sprouts, remove the brown ends and cut them horizontally into two. All right, so that's gonna take me a little minute. So let me get myself together. So 
those of y'all coming in can see. So we're gonna rinse these. Let me get the little colander. Now, if you don't like prepping your veggies, you absolutely can buy them already cut up. I bought these, but I didn't use them in time, but I'm just showing you all they're cut in half and the stems are taken off. Maybe y'all would still use them, but I don't know. I feel like giving y'all the best. Plus, you'll talk about me. <laughs> Joyful says, I do that trick too. It works great for cooking pizza. Great tip. So when you put your pizza dough on there, you get a nice crispy crust. It all sounds good, y'all. All right. Oh, these are big and beautiful. Y'all, look at these Brussels sprouts. They're like the size. They're, <laughs> they're huge. They're like dangling earrings. Oh my goodness, y'all. They're huge. So we're going to put our little mini cabbages in the colander. We're going to give these a nice rinse. I'm excited. I just placed a grocery order through Publix. They delivered them not too long ago. Okay, so we're going to give these a rinse and I'm going to get the cutting board and I'm going to get the knife because we need to cut off the ends and um, cut them in half. Happy Thursday. Yes, we are having Brussels sprouts. The rice is doing its thing. Chicken is in the air fryer. All right, let's rinse off. Okay, let's get our cutting board. So you all can see everything. Make sure everybody can see. I am on Instagram. Hi, Instagram. I am on TikTok. Hi, TikTok. I am on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. So we're trying to make sure everybody can see. Let's keep this going. All right. I'm done with the rice. So we've rinsed off our uh, Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to get a knife and um, let's do this. Let's put these here. All right, and let's get a bowl. I think I can move this. All right. Okay, class. We're gonna get our beautiful Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love these like wrapped in bacon. Ugh. They used to be really bitter to me, but I've actually grown to love them. So we're gonna just cut off the stem and then go right down the middle. So the leaves that are coming off, it's fine. I'm gonna cook all of it, but this is what we have. So we're just gonna go through all of them until we have our Brussels sprout halves. I'll toss the um, stems This is easy um, enough for two, so I'll make some and pack some. That's a tip, ladies. We talked about that. You got a hardworking man, make sure you feed him well. Okay, I just see a little brown on this one, so I'm gonna take that lat that outside off. We wanna make sure, we all eat with our eyes first, so if you see anything on your you know, produce that's a little bit, yeah, if you wouldn't eat it, don't serve it, all right? So just take that off. And um, even if I can't have it, you know, y'all know I'm a boy mom. I got one that's a swimmer, two teenagers. Feed your family, ladies. For me, it's a joy. But even if it's a chore, you can control how healthy your family is. So I'm a big believer in that. And, um, you know, you don't have to love it but find what you can do and just try to be consistent i think that's the best key all right i'm just looking for the little stem oh my gosh i probably will taste a brussels sprout when these are done but shh. all right i smell so fresh kind of grassy 
beautiful. I'm looking at these little cabbages. That olive oil is going to get up in there in those nooks and crannies. And we're going to put some balsamic glaze and some salt and get up in there. <laughs> Absolutely. That is the goal. So I like, you know, a little bit of meal prep like this. I'm talking to y'all while I'm doing it, but even if I'm not, to me, we all kind of have those repetitive tasks that we can kind of zone out on. Some of y'all, it might be cleaning like me. Some of y'all, it might be laundry. Some people, it might be gardening. Let me just take off the outside. So whatever you like, find whatever's therapeutic for you and make sure that you um, find something that settles you. You know, because the world that we live in, y'all already know. I'm just taking off any of the um, leaves that are looking a little bit suspect. Because we all eat with our eyes first. And these are nice and big, so I can cut them in half. I got a little water on my cutting board. I just don't want to have any slips. And remember, y'all, we talked about this. The cutting board is double-sided. This side that has the groove. Get into the groove. Boy, you've got to prove your love to me. Yeah, I know I'm old. Anyway, um, this is where liquids will, will pool and collect. So if you're cutting lemon, if you're cutting raw chicken, if you're cutting tomato, anything that's kind of wet keeps it from going on your counter. And then the other side is um for stuff like this and this is a really nice little hack too for portion control look how much we have here in brussels sprouts just by cutting them in half you all will notice when i serve i try to plate and like go ahead and cut it up so i don't know maybe it's like a little trick play tricks on my mind that i have more to eat because i have more i have to chew um because you could wrap a whole piece of bacon around this, absolutely, and eat the whole thing, but you could cut it in half, and it may slow you down, so you have, um, you get fuller faster. Whatever works for you. We all struggle with something. All right, class. So our Brussels sprouts are cut up. So... That is great. Let's get this out of the way and see what's next on the recipe. I'm gonna check on our chicken. Did I look at the time? No. All right, it's doing its thing. I'll let y'all see it, but we're not there yet. We will temperature check it. Temperature check it. Uh, chicken needs to be at 160, 165 for safety. Um, we did up to 160 yesterday because it will continue to cook when you get it out. But I'm looking for that bacon wrapped on the outside to be like nice and caramelly. Y'all know what bacon looks like. I'm not the only one. Let's see. We got to turn it over halfway. All right, we're not there yet, but you all can see. So our bacon is starting to do its thing. See all that bacon grease? All right, I'm gonna let it go just a little bit longer. And then once it's like brown the way that I like it, then we will uh, turn it over. But you all can see that cream cheese and broccoli on the inside, when you cut into that, let me just drip some of this out. All right, I just tilted a little bit into the trash because um. The bacon grease. I don't keep my bacon grease. If you do, I am not the food police, but I don't want it swimming around too much. All right, we're going back in. Keep percolating. Joyful says I'm cracking you up. Ah, hello. What's your sister's name? I'll say hello if you want to give her first name. If not, no problem. Kia says looking good. Thank you. I'm glad y'all are having fun. Okay. Now, let's see what's next. So we have our Brussels sprouts, we have the stem off, and we have them rinsed, and we have them cut in half, okay? And these are fresh Brussels sprouts, all right? Let's see what else our chef brother says. All right, so we did step number two. 
uh, rinse them, remove the brown ends, and cut them horizontally in two. Hello, Jackie. Thank you for watching, sweetheart. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. All right, so step three, place them in a large bowl, season them generously with good quality, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and black pepper. All right, y'all. He said good quality. I got what I got. It might be Kroger brand. Look, if you got something straight from Italy, God bless you. All right, this is what I got. So let's get a bowl. And I'm going to move them into this bigger bowl because this bowl, they're already kind of filled to the top. We want to make sure we get all that oil in there and that salt and pepper. Get up in there. Get up in them corners. Get up in there. Shout out to the South. All those nooks and crannies because we want the flavor inside. All right. And I'm even putting the little, well, let's see. Would you all cook the leaves? the ones that have fallen off, or does that take away from the presentation? Y'all tell me. I'm gonna take them out for now so I can see what's like intact. Oh, is it just falling off? Is it like a thread if you just keep pulling at it? I'm not gonna have any Brussels sprouts left. All right. I would not trash this. You could toss this and absolutely, uh oh. Y'all keep them or toss them? What do y'all do? I just want to see what I have for actual broth, uh, Brussels sprout halves. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I just want to get a bowl big enough so I can get all that seasoning in there. Okay, you would saute the leaves. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Okay, so we took the leaves out. All right, just to kind of have something that's intact. Not the end of the world, but, and a Joyful Homemaker says you can saute those. That would be great. All right. So yeah, it looks like his are pretty um, intact as well. Okay, now, salt and pepper. I think I'm gonna get one of those electronic salt and pepper shaker things to my uh, wish list. Cause y'all see me in here struggling. I ran out of salt yesterday. So let me see if I can refill this really quick and then I think two more minutes and then we're going to turn the um, uh, chicken over just a regular like nice little copper salt shaker you just take off the top and then we're going to refill it I would have done this ahead of time but I didn't and I do have a little funnel so I'm just going to do it over the bowl here so if anything spills over we'll be fine Y'all, I'm getting a little steam treatment. I don't know if y'all can see the um, rice cooker. All right, good. And this is just regular Walmart salt. Of course, you could do your pink Himalayan, your fancy salt, whatever you want, okay? But that's what I got. All right, let's get some olive oil. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got Kroger brand olive oil. It says extra virgin olive oil, rich and fruity. So we're going to go with that. That's what I got, okay? I know there's some olive oil. I won't even say snobs, but use what you got. It's all wonderful. Put them back in. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll, we'll put them on the side. So the rice cooker, I don't know if y'all can see here. It's got a little hole here. It's hitting me in the face. I'm going to move that Ouch. away from me so the steam goes that way. So he doesn't measure, so I'm not going to measure. I'm just going <laughs> to, that's kind of generous. All right, so we got it nice and greased up. And then you can either get in there with your hands or a spoon. I'm just going to toss them. And what I'm looking for is I just want to make sure each Brussels sprout has that nice coating of olive oil. It's the oil plus the um, heat that's going to give you that nice crispiness. And if you have extra, it's okay. It'll just go to the bottom, but you really want to make sure, see how they're nice and shiny? You really want to make sure that they've got that good layer of oil. Now we'll salt pretty generously. And then pepper. When we did the cooking class, the chef, Teresa, God bless, I'm not strong, y'all. She said, make it look like it snowed on the chicken. <gasps> Speaking of chicken, hold up, y'all. All right, and pepper. 
So we got salt and pepper. We're gonna to toss it some more. Let's go check on our chicken. So I'm just gonna keep tossing it. And I wanna make sure each little Brussels sprout has oil, visible salt, and visible pepper. I think we're looking pretty good. Let's check on our chicken. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hold up. See how our bacon is starting to uh, kind of curl up on us? Looking good. All right, I'm just gonna pour off some of the bacon fat because I don't want it coming down my arm. All right, and we're gonna get some tongs and just turn it over and then go back in. It's looking good, y'all. It's starting to kind of come through and burst. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, yeah. Can y'all see that? Looking good. Got that nice texture on there. All right, so let me put this down flat. I'm gonna have any accidents, and I'm gonna try and carefully turn it over because I want, oh, I got a piece of bacon on the bottom here that I, all right, Woo. all right. So let me drape that over. We're gonna put it back in. Hopefully we can get that nice crispiness on, ouch, on this side too, all right? So I didn't do a great job wrapping it and it's starting to flap over, as y'all can see. It's not done yet. It says 10 minutes on each side, all right? So let's put this back in here and our rice is percolating. All right. All right, let's see what he has next. We'll hold on to these. Maybe I'll put them on there, but uh, we won't waste them. I know, I want more. I'm gonna taste one for seasoning. Just, I'm gonna get one of these little bitty leaves and I'm gonna taste it for oil, salt, and pepper. Mom says taste as you go. Come on, mama. I forgot the pepper. I didn't forget, I was just doing one at a time. I'll put a little bit more pepper on there. Brussels sprouts have that, you know, that little bite to them, that little cabbage bite to them. So I wouldn't hesitate to get in there and do a little bit more. Ah, there you go. Ah, all right. And we'll give it one more toss. Believe it or not, Put your vegetables in front of kids. Have them try it. You never know. That's what we did when the boys were little. All right, I think we're good. I'll taste one more little leaf. Oh, it's not even cooked yet. So good. Mm. All right, what are we doing? I have no idea. What's the next step? So we did step three, place them in a large bowl, season them generously with good quality extra virgin olive oil, shout out to Kroger, salt and black pepper. Ooh, I'm feeling the pepper. Remove the baking tray from the oven, grease it with extra virgin olive oil, we're on step four, and then place the sprouts face down on the pan. All right, let's focus, Maggie. We're gonna take out the hot pan I'm gonna put it down here. Y'all wouldn't laugh at me if I used the leftover HelloFresh olive oil, would you? No, it's not HelloFresh, sweet moments, I'm sorry. I don't wanna waste, y'all. I got this olive oil from our cooking class and I just need to grease that. <laughs> so I'm gonna use it. If y'all were here for the uh, chicken shawarma, I got leftover ingredients. I don't like to waste. Okay, so let's get the hot pan. Let me just, I don't know what dripped on it, but just to be safe. All right. And we're gonna put some olive oil on here and then I'm gonna get the pastry brush and I'm gonna brush it on the hot pan, all right? 
I might not even need to brush. I might be able to just kind of, I'll brush it. What I was going to do is just kind of tilt it kind of like you would a skillet. Make sure you get that oil on everything. But I'm going to brush it anyway. We want to make sure every surface has got this good olive oil on it. All right, so just a little pastry brush. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want to move that oil around. And this will be a baking tray or whatever you have. Then he says, put the Brussels sprouts on the hot pan face down. All right, so let's get these and I'm gonna try and get them in there tight. We'll start in the middle. We want that hot oil to get up in there or that oil on that hot pan to get up in there. If we have extra room, I'll put those leaves on it. Our little butter bombs of goodness. quite a few Brussels sprouts. All right. All right, I think we're gonna be filled to the brim with Brussels sprouts, but don't you worry, we'll do, don't you worry about a thing. Okay, another outburst. We are going to, and this is backwards, my OCD is gonna Pause for a moment. Um, don't you worry, we will saute. We're not gonna waste those leaves. Absolutely not. Oh boy, are we coming around the mountain when she comes? I think I just ordered one pound of Brussels sprouts. So hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try and tuck them all up in there, flat side down. We want that heat and that oil to get up in here. All right, that's what we want. <laughs> Kia's dancing. Y'all know how I do. All right, let's tuck one more up in here. Try and get it flat. All right, and then one more. And we got two more. Shove them in there. You know how they do. Get on in there. There's room. Get on that school bus. Get on that train bus. Well, it wouldn't be a train bus, would it? Y'all, look at me. I got my towel on my shoulder like I look like somebody's mama. <laughs> okay, focus, Maggie. Condemn ya. You're here. <laughs> Your chicken is in the air fryer, sir. Okay, y'all. So we got, I don't know why I did that. All right, so we got our greased up Brussels sprouts, salted and black peppered. All right. Condemn wants to know what's the summer meals look like. Whatever you want. Have it your way, have it your way, Burger King. You got any requests? We'll figure it out. I'm gonna be eating air sandwiches and ice chips, y'all, trying to get this weight off. I'm fasting today, so I'm cooking man food tonight. We got the uh, rice over here percolating. Brussels sprouts about to go in. Let's take our chicken out and see how it looks. I'm gonna toss those other leaves in here in that salt and um, leftover oil and salt. Oh my gosh, Ooh, rice is done. Did y'all hear that click? It pops just like that. And then you can see your rice is looking good. I'm gonna just unplug it. It'll stay warm. Rice is delicious. Okay, I'm gonna taste like little. I know, I know, I know. I don't need to. But I'm just showing y'all and see how the rice got all nice and uh, fluffy in the rice cooker. We'll fluff it up later. Stop now, Maggie. All right. So your rice is done. We will fluff it up when we put it on the plate. It'll stay warm. All right. Whew. Let's get these in. Chicken out. Looking good. We're going to temperature check it in a minute. Y'all, I think I'm perfect timing.
And damn, that's the second piece of chicken. Y'all see that broccoli and cheese coming out the side? Oh, let me just get rid of this bacon grease. All right. What? Okay, let's switch because this pan was hot. All right, going in. I think it's 425. My air fryer goes up to 400. We're going to put them up at the top. See if we can get them greased up. All right, so our chicken's looking good. Let's get up in there. Make sure it's on Fahrenheit. Um, and then I just need to go to the chicken because the inside. If we get to 160, oh, y'all can't see. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go just a little bit longer on the chicken. We wanna make sure it's good and done. I struggle with this because you know there's that creamy stuff on the inside. Oh, we're up to one, 160. Okay, we're probably done. I just gotta be careful not to go in all the way. Looks amazing. Condemn says if I'm fasting, you'll hold off on the manly meals. No, I'm cooking a manly meal tonight. This ain't for me. I can't eat this. All right, so. Let's start plating. Well, let's see what happens with these Brussels sprouts. Chicken looking good. We'll move it behind me, let it rest for just a second. And then I'll cut into it. I'm gonna pull it up off the foil so it can kind of crisp up a little bit. So I'm gonna move it move it behind me and put it on this rack. We'll cut into it in a moment. All right, let's get the tongs. All right. If you lift it up out of the like bacon juice and everything, it'll crisp up a little bit. Chicken looks good, excellent, okay. So I'm going to just mix this up in here. Everything's done, y'all. Dinner is ready. I need to start giving y'all the commercial. All right, let's see what our instructions say. I'm not gonna do this right now, but I'm just getting up the last bit of that salt and pepper. And uh, Joyful Homemaker was saying you could saute those. A nice little side dish. Maybe I'll eat them raw. <laughs> so good. All right. Focus, Maggie. The pepper. Step five, bake for 15 minutes or until the surface of the sprouts that are face down have the desired restaurant looking char. Then flip over and cook until the other side is charred as well. All right, so let's get a plate, because this won't be long. Get our man food meals. Ladies, I always serve on a plate with a napkin, your knife and fork, a beverage of his choice. We're in the South, so it's a Coke. If he likes ice in his glass, get him ice in his glass. All right, so we're letting our chicken over here rest just a little bit, because when I cut into it, you know that broccoli and that cheese, it's so good. But just like a lasagna, you want it to kind of set just a little bit. If you cut into it right away, it'll just ooze out, which is not bad. All right. So for his beverage of choice. Make sure he has everything he needs to eat. Oops, 
you put your knife in your fork. If you'll need to cut into that chicken, give them a good steak knife. Ah, he likes fruit. Let's get some fruit. shopping before I travel, so it's kind of suspect. Oh, but we always have apples ready, so let's get a nice one and cut it up. We eat what's in front of us, so if you want your kids to eat more veggies, serve them veggies. If you want your guy to eat more fruit, Serve him fruit. All right, just a little bit. And I don't mind cutting up fruit. You can peel it if they want it peeled. Uh oh. And I just put it in a little bowl. How are we doing over here? Oh, y'all, they're looking good. We're gonna cut up this apple, then we're gonna turn it. I'm gonna show y'all the Brussels sprouts. I think I have some more. Apples and Brussels sprouts will be amazing. I didn't even think about that. I just always serve fruit with a meal. It's a good natural sweet, good natural dessert. Of course, we like the unnatural desserts too, but it doesn't take long at all. Okay, so we got our beverage. We got our apples. Let's get the Brussels sprouts out and take a look, y'all. Then we're gonna cut the chicken. All right. And then he says, flip them over. Let's see if we can ah, get a little spatula. Let's see how they're looking on the back. They're more charred on the top. I'm gonna turn them over. Oh, yeah. And we'll put them right back in, see if we can get that same brown on this side. And then we're gonna toss them in a balsamic glaze and some pepper, just a few minutes. They're nice and tender. Careful on this part, <laughs> especially if you have the kids with you because that oil is hot but I'm just getting these turned over. Get a fork. I love the little charred um, leaves when they come up. Ugh. It gives you that crispy texture. And we already tasted them. They're nice and hot. And y'all see, almost done. Turn them on their backside. And these are gonna go back in. We're gonna cut into the chicken and then plate. See the rice is done and staying warm in the rice cooker. All right, so we wanna get a little bit of brown on here. Yeah, of course. Look, if you're on a journey, ladies, you don't force your family to do what you do. Hey, Fortune, thank you so much. Um, yeah, absolutely. Just cause I can't eat it don't mean you can't have it. All right. Let me put this up behind and we're going to cut into our chicken. All right, so now it's done. It's not as lava hot. We have our chicken here. I'm gonna get a, we'll get the cutting board. All right. I'm gonna try and cut it into some nice strips so it looks decent. I hope I don't mess it up. We have a big, beautiful, don't it look like a huge baked potato? I know y'all want that. Oh, yeah. All right.
see if I can. Uh... <laughs> Here you go. So I just let it cool this time. Yesterday I did it and dro um, dripped in my hand. I'm just going to cut. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't want to mess it up. Let's go ahead and start plating. Okay. Start with the rice. Those are getting nice and brown. Let's get the rice. Looks good. Okay. All right. Give them their starches. Let them enjoy their meal, rice. And this was just the seasoned rice that we cooked first. You don't really need a gravy or anything on it because it's got that nice saffron <laughs> flavor. All right, so we have that. Then I'm going to try and keep this intact. Y'all see how it's coming out? I'm gonna try and keep it intact. <laughs> What's in the rice? It's saffron rice. I'll show you the package. One second. Let me just plate this. All right. Saffron yellow rice. I think it's Walmart, Sam's Club. <laughs> I'm trying. I got a ways to go. All right, let's get these Brussels almost out. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Brussels are done. Turning those off. Whew. I will taste one Brussels sprout, y'all. I will taste one. All right, so we did step number five. And then step number six, remove from the oven, place them back into the large bowl, mix in your desired amount of balsamic glaze, cayenne, pepper, and salt. All right. Balsamic glaze. Oh yeah. This is going on the Brussels. Let's take them out. We're going to toss these in that glaze. I know I got cayenne. Okay, good. Cayenne pepper. Ooh, teriyaki beef with zucchini. Absolutely. You're welcome. Hello, Christina. Um, and we got salt. Yes, we got salt. So I'm going to take these leaves out that I'm going to saute. For later sorry y'all the peppers got me let me just get in here this is just the olive oil salt and pepper oh shouldn't have cut into the apples yet all right we're gonna put all these in here oh my gosh Hi! i'm excited it's not even my food and i'm excited oh. all right so we're gonna put all that back in the bowl. Whew. All right, balsamic glaze going in. Y'all see what we have so far? I'll use that for the asparagus. It's gonna taste amazing. Shamu! We got hungry people. Hello, hello, hello. All right. And I'll do light on the salt because I felt like we salted it well. And then cayenne pepper. Oh, God. I haven't used it yet. Try to have everything. For a nice little color. All right, we're going to toss all that together. Hello, Black. Thank you. Threw one over there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, y'all, we're going to finish up with the commercial. Let me just get this plate on the table. And I am going to taste one. 
You could use spoon or whatever you like. Yum. All right, let me get a really small one because I'm not eating today. Let's get in there. Lord mercy. All right. Let me serve this plate, y'all. Over here cutting up with y'all. When I tell you, when I tell you. All right, y'all, your dinner's ready. You have your broccoli stuffed chicken. You have your saffron rice. And you have your, what is this? Balsa and restaurant Brussels sprouts. All right, let me get a picture. Oh. And then pack it to go. Always pack it to go. All right. All right. Give him his drink. Give him his uh, fruit. Oh, looks good. Y'all like, like it? Woo. That, uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh. Oh, y'all, this looks so nice. Let me turn this because my apples are starting to, y'all know how it is. Look at my chicken. Y'all look at my chicken. Oh, I'm proud of myself. It's the little things. Oh my gosh, y'all. All right. In the video. So today we made the plant crazy restaurant balsamic glaze caramelized brussels sprouts we're serving these with yellow saffron rice and the keto snacks bacon wrapped broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken with a coca cola and an apple on the side enjoy all right y'all put this on the table one second oh All right, everyone, Let, uh, put lemon on the apples next time. Great tip. I think I have lemon too. All right, everybody, we are done. <laughs> lemon juice, absolutely. Restaurant plate, how much y'all paying for that plate? Y'all can cook for the family. My nose is running a little bit, that cayenne. Hold up. And we'll close out with the commercial. Oh, God. All right, y'all. A labor of love. All right, y'all, so thank you for joining me for another struggle cooking class. We got it done. Dinner is done. I'm gonna clean up here. Thank you so much. Valet says it looks delicious. Ooh, you had Mexican stuffed shells. That sounds good. $35 in Richmond. Are you in Richmond, Virginia? I used to live in Chester. All right, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for helping me to um, make my passion for food. You've helped me monetize and now we're in this competition, y'all. I'm so excited. Um, if you haven't seen the post, I have entered a competition and I'm going to be asking you all to vote for the favorite chef. Uh, voting isn't open yet, but when it is, oh, look at this. I've been approved for a shop on Instagram. So maybe I'll put some products in a catalog. However that works, I don't know. But yes, I appreciate you all so, so much. Mm -hmm. Favorite chef, and I did link it, so you all will be able to vote for me. Um, you can enter if you want to, that's next month. You can see all of that in there. Um, if you're interested in knowing how I got monetized on YouTube, because this is extra income for me as a mom, excuse me, I thank you, helps me pay for private school. Um, I do have a course on how I got monetized in four months. New channels usually take a year. So you can uh, take a look at that course if you're interested. Preview it for free. Uh, it's two hours, 15 different modules, and um, you have lifetime access. It's $50. Oh, quiet store. <laughs> he says Maggie delivered. Y'all like that plate? Wait a minute. Hold up. Let me... Oh, 
I'll keep this here so y'all can see. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Y'all like that? It's good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 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 Is the link in? Oh, I haven't put it in that description yet. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, 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 everyone. Y'all like it? Um, I need to add it. I literally just posted it today. Um, course cookbook community. So we talked about the course uh, and it's $50. I don't know if I said that. Uh, cookbook, if you're interested in my best recipes that y'all voted for, I do have a cookbook. It's a digital download. You can um, read the recipe or you can watch me make it. I'm redoing the videos and you will have the updated version if you buy it. It's uh, 20 bucks and I think I still have a coupon code for you all. Absolutely. Y'all, that cayenne pepper. Whew. Um, $5 off uh, cookbook is the uh, coupon code. Let's see, what else? And then community. We already shouted out the members. Thank you to my Patreon. Thank you to my... Um, YouTube members, my Instagram subscribers, all of y'all, this community, Team Greedy, absolutely. Oh, living out loud. You love this art dress? Somebody come take this. Tell me who wants it because I wore it to make a statement. I ordered it online, one of these uh, little Asian things that uh, was too small when I got it, but now I can fit into it. So it's just a little mini dress, but I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Um, Pattern's a bit much. It is sleeveless, so that's why I have this on. It does have pockets. It's just, uh, it's a lot going on. So I was going to donate it, but inbox me if you want it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, getting back on track. <sighs> Y'all, I always say it's not hard to lose the weight. It's hard to decide to lose the weight. Keep the stuff that you're supposed to eat close by and eat before you feel hungry. That's what I have to do. It's not too spicy. No, it's not too spicy. I would definitely, if I weren't fasting today, I would eat them. But it says as much balsamic glaze and as much cayenne pepper as you want. So you could make it as um, spicy or unspicy as you want. All right. I will post the link. Thank you. Christine did 100 push-ups today. You're better than me. I did the bike. Yes, good night. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you for the compliments. Thank you, everyone. Um, send me some. Yes, absolutely. Y'all know. Ooh, sprinkle some feta on the Brussels sprouts. That sounds yummy. That sounds really yummy. Okay. Tomorrow, Friday, Wives Club. I won't be cooking. I'll actually be traveling, going to a cabin or somewhere. I don't know. So I will be streaming 8 8.30 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, it'll be different because I won't be in the kitchen. But if you all like what I do, my dining documentaries when I'm traveling, please subscribe and you can follow me along uh, wherever we're going to go. And um, we'll be back after the holiday. But I do give you guys content every day. So thank you. Thank you all for being here. Let me uh, dismiss. Thank you, Instagram. Thank you, TikTok. Oh, goodness. Let me dismiss. All right. Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitch, and Twitter. And it's still warm. Oh, so good, y'all. I'm really impressed. We'll have to add this to the competition pictures. Mm-hmm. 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 Oof. Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, everyone. Class is dismissed.